It's a unique sport, to say the least. I just love being out there smashing stuff up, and it's just a blast. I love it. A love for driving and taking out the competition. You don't come out here to destroy your other cars. You come out here to make them better and fast, but take them home in one piece. This is not going home in one piece. Having fun and somehow using this to help others. One up it every year with popcorn uh, with the scouts as it is, so I don't know if I can out it next year. Oh my, it's the night of destruction in the special American Drive. So let's get the ground rules out of the way. There aren't many. Decorate your trailer, hope it survives while targeting the other guys. All while making sure you put on a show. You can't run and hide here. The last few standing, trailers intact or at least hanging on, go to the people's choice. Kind of like gladiators in the Coliseum. But these are regular dudes at the fairgrounds. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Quick check in with a couple of drivers. Why are they here? And what's their secret? This guy is going all in for scouts. You know one thing they sell a lot of at the racetrack? Popcorn. So of course you gotta have the popcorn truck, right? Of course we do. And uh, actually my pack's out there selling it right now. So so Cub oh, Scout Pack 81. That's who that's I got him over there selling right now. Is that right? Yeah, so yeah. they're selling and you're gonna be driving. I'm gonna race for them. So all the kids, I'm the cub master of the pack. So oh. yeah, yeah. Hey, how'd you come up with this idea? Uh just popcorn sales. I mean we do it every year for pop for scouts as it is, so it's a good time. Or we just started last weekend. Uh, the race was originally supposed to be the opening day of popcorn as well, so works out. Huh? Worked out perfect. How long did it take to uh, to decorate or detail out this truck? Decorate, uh, I mean, a couple weeks really here and there. Um, now the longest part was probably waiting for the the foam on the top for the popcorn to expand. So what are the odds when you finish tonight that that? Popcorn will still be popcorn on top. On top? Oh, that should also be good on top. That yeah. should be there. Yeah. The only thing that should be gone is the trailer. Hopefully. Well, not even. I want that on there to win. <laughs> hey, what do you like most about this? Uh, this is my first time doing it, but I've been a spectator. My little brother's been doing it for years, so uh, just getting excited about it. And what about the kids? What do they enjoy about it? Uh, the destruction. I mean, it's not a destruction, so they, they like seeing the crashes and uh, everything else. Over here is a driver with a sweet tooth for competition. We've got the M&M machine. Tell me about the concept here. Uh, it was kind of a last minute deal, but my buddy uh, Jeff's Auto donated the truck and trailer, said uh, go have fun and see what you can do. We race here weekly, so I did it two years ago. I decided to come back and give it a chance, see what I can do and win some extra money. And it's fun. Uh, it's a lot of destroying, impact, uh, character, and it's for the stands. To appreciate it and that. So you you are a racer by trade. So you race every week in a. So what's different when you come out here on this on this track, knowing that you're going to hit somebody or somebody's going to hit you? The adrenaline and the rush. It, it's a it's a good rush. Uh, you don't come out here to destroy your other cars. You come out here to make them better and fast, but take them home in one piece. This is not going home in one piece. <laughs> so Eminem, I have to ask the question, the obvious question. It's a plane or, or peanuts? Uh, plane. plane. Last minute, colors don't match, but hey, we got here. And then there is Ray. You got the party bus here. Yes. What's up with that? Uh, it's just been a thing we've had for about 10 years now. We've been racing it for about 10 years, 11 races. Uh, we've won probably about four or five times with it. Um, but it's been a good truck. I don't, I don't ever have to do any work to it, hardly at all. It's kind of nice. You don't have to wax it no, or, no, or no. clean it. That's still the dirt from the last race. <laughs> hey, what do you like most about this? What's so cool about it? Uh, I just love being out there smashing stuff up, and it's just a blast. I love it. Is there a strategy involved? Sometimes, but then the strategy kind of goes away sometimes. Sometimes it's pulled back for a while and then go in at the last minute, and then, then sometimes it's just... Oh, let's just go at it. Let's, let's send it. Now, some guys probably try to protect their vehicle, right, and just yeah. get the trailer uh, hit. But 
you don't have to worry about getting your car hit too much, huh? Well, I've been hit pretty hard a couple times, uh, as you can see, but um, but it, it's still a blast, and I'm sure we'll be back out here next year. Hey, at the end of the day, you know, you work hard, you come do this on a, like tonight, a beautiful fall night. How cool is this? Oh, it's awesome. Love it. Uh, we've had a lot of rainy seasons, races um, a couple times, and we've actually had to race in the rain. That was sloppy. It was messy. It was, but it, we still had a blast. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, mud. Lots of mud here tonight. So we decide to hop on the party bus. Little GoPro gives us an inside look and catches a little mud early on. Well, that's enough talking for us. It's go time. Of the three we talked to survive. Tensions mount as fans of the stands now have a chance to decide. Looks like we picked the right bandwagon to hitch up our gear to. Party bus wins, although his wife was kind of hoping the ride would end here tonight. How'd it feel out there, man? Oh. It was rough out there, but it was awesome. I love it. It's another big victory, another big trophy? Yeah. How's the wife gonna feel about this? Oh, she's not gonna like it because I'm bringing her back home again. <laughs> because there is always another party at the next night of destruction. If you like this story, we have a lot more just like it literally taking off on our YouTube channel right now. Please subscribe, share, tell a friend. This is the Heart of the Story with Gary Mativier.